Hello and welcome to this video about mouse events in WX widgets. Mouse events are generated whenever the user moves the mouse, presses a mouse button, or uses the scroll wheel to name a few examples. Let's open up Visual Studio and see how they work. For this demo, we start with our usual setup. The mainframe only contains a panel and a status bar. Remember that the panel fills the entire frame by default. Alright, we begin by navigating to mainframe's header file. Here we declare an event handler called onMouseEvent. All event handlers for mouse events must take a WX mouse event reference as parameter. It doesn't matter if it's for a mouse move, a right click, or some other mouse event. The name on mouse event is purposely a little general. That's because we will use it to demo different mouse events. Okay, let's go back to the implementation file. Here we implement on mouse event. For now, this method will simply display mouse event detected in the status bar. I want this method to be called when the user presses the left mouse button. So in the constructor, I will call bind on the panel. Here we pass in an event tag called wxevt lift down and our on mouse event method, which should be called on this object. Now we can start the program. When I click somewhere, we see our message in the status bar. Let's include the X and Y position of the mouse in this message. The onMouseEvent method takes a WX mouse event object as parameter. This object contains information about the event, including the position of the mouse. To get the mouse position, we call the getPosition method. Now we can create a formatted string containing this position. And then display that in the status bar. Now we can see the mouse position in the status bar. Detecting a right click instead is just as easy. Simply change the event tag to WX EVT write down. You can also detect when the middle mouse button is pressed. or even when a double click occurs. That was just a few examples. To see the full list of mouse events, click the link in the description of this video. Okay, but what about mouse movement? To detect when the mouse is moving, we must use the event tag called wxevtmotion. Now on mouse event should be called every time we move the mouse. Let's check it out. Now you can see that the message is updated when I move the mouse. And here is a little bonus tip. 
Do you see how our message flickers a bit? Whenever you encounter a flickering control, you can fix it by enabling double buffered rendering. In our case, the status bar is flickering, so let's save it in a local variable. And then call the set double buffered method, passing in true. Now the flickering is gone. Here is a question. What would happen if we move the cursor over a child control? Let's add a big button to the panel and find out. When I move the cursor around outside the button, our program behaves just like before. But when I move it inside the button, the message is not updated. What about event propagation? Why doesn't the event propagate to the panel if the button doesn't handle it? That's because the WX mouse event is not a command event, so it does not propagate at all. To handle mouse events for the button as well, I must explicitly call bind on it. Now, when I move the cursor over the button, on mouse event is called and the message updates. Note that the x and y coordinates we see are relative to the control that the cursor is over. When the cursor is over the button, the coordinates are relative to the button, and similarly for the panel. The reason why we get relative coordinates is because the mouse event's getPosition method returns what WX widgets calls a client position. In this case, the position is relative to the control that received the mouse event. Most of the time, this is just fine, but you can also work with screen positions. Instead of calling get position on the mouse event, we can just call the WX get mouse position method. This gives us the mouse position in screen coordinates. Take a look. The message in the status bar now shows the position in screen coordinates. It doesn't matter if the cursor is over the panel or the button. But now it actually makes a difference where the frame is located. You can always convert between screen positions and client positions using two methods called screen to client and Client to screen. Let me give you an example. Our mouse pose variable currently contains the mouse position in screen coordinates. To convert it to a client position for our mainframe, we can use the screen to client method. Now we always get the mouse position in coordinates relative to the window or frame in WX widgets terminology. That's it for this time. I hope you now feel comfortable using mouse events in your own projects. See you in the next video.